All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right, staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow straight gate path that you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. The spirit intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciate a ticket one day at a time. Most definitely let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for giving us another day to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes in our back and a roof over our head. And let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out. Guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoon, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God, his word, his only begotten son dying for our sins. There's so much things the Lord's done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy endures forever. His truth is everlasting. So always thank him, praise him, worship him, keep him first and trust in him through every situation you're going through. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and encourage each other in the Lord. Let us always pray for each other, intercede for one another, comfort each other, support each other. All those great, awesome, amazing things, people. Brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world, let us be together on one accord for the Lord. Amen. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth, all the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to the churches and mysteries out there with the sound doctrine, the peace, the love, the harmony, the fellowships, and the services. Much love to the previous martyrs, current martyrs, and future martyrs, the brave, bold, isolated, courageous believers who are going through it for the gospel, who are being persecuted for the faith, who are going through many tribulations for his namesake. Stay steadfast, firm, strong, and stay encouraged through it all, people. Much love to the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to all the grafted and Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds all over the world. Much love to all the brand new converts out there, all the brand new believers out there, all the brand new creatures of Christ. Anyone who just repented, God bless you. Anyone who just got baptized, God bless you as well. Anyone who just got a brand new life for the most high and became a believer, God bless you as well. If you did repent and get baptized, go and repent, get baptized ASAP immediately. Amen. Welcome everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. As always, shalom, family, greetings to all of you. Welcome, everybody, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fishes in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High, sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, praise him. Rejoice, always rejoice, make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound, cry out to him, dance, express yourself, play an instrument, do what you got to do for the most high. He is always watching us, so always serve him with gladness and joy, and always worship in spirit and truth, amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, love the Lord your God for all your might, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, love the Lord your God for all your might, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves, and let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until the sun comes back, amen. He has come back like a thief in the night in a twinkling of an eye. He has come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. Let's be alert, sober, vigilant, watchful, prayed up. Let's be washed by the water of the word, the washing of the water with the word. Let's keep our lamp and oils, and let's constantly in our purpose and call for the most high. Let us really stay on point. And let us know the Lord better. Let's come more close to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God. He'll draw near to you. Let's obey the gospel. Let's obey the law, statute, commandments. Let's obey all of God's word. Anything the Most High has told us personally according to our life, our calling, our purpose, our situations, our gifts, our talents, let's handle that, people. Keep your lamps and your oils. Keep it all together for the Most High. Keep the faith. Keep the word of God. Keep the law, statute, commandments, decrees, precepts, ordinances. Keep the Torah. Keep the testimony of the Messiah. Keep the gospel. Keep everything together. Amen. Most definitely. So in today's message, what I will do is go through today's Bible reading, go through the recommended reading scriptures, and go through the commentary. And then from there, we will close out with a prayer. We will close out with a priestly blessing. We will close out, give all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise His only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. Today's Bible reading, the book of Amos, chapter 7, verses 1 through 9. Recommended reading, Psalm 51. 
also the book of Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3, and also the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. Today's commentary, the title of it is called Foxhole Faith. Researchers who analyzed church attendance in the wake of the 9-11 attacks noted a spike in attendance directly following the tragedy. It was a time of unprecedented openness to God's leading of individuals searching for stability and answers to the tragedy. This atmosphere provided an incredible opportunity for America's churches to open their doors and minister to people overwhelmed by pain and confusion. Unfortunately, those high attendance numbers didn't stay that way. Within a few months of the disaster, they receded back to earlier levels. This kind of activity recalls the foxhole faith syndrome. When the heat is on and shells are all over the place overhead, it takes an extremely calloused soldier to resist the urge to pray to God. Most troops will confess their sin and plead with God to get them out of that situation, promising a life, a life of dedicated service if only they'll be spared. Do you know any foxhole believers out there? These people hold their faith on the outer edge of life, essentially ignoring God while life is good. But when they face a real disaster, they suddenly turn to God, crying out, if you save me today, I'll serve you from now on. But when the trouble passes and life calms down, these foxhole believers revert to their old ways until the next time. The people of Israel practice their own brand of foxhole faith. And Amos pointed out their foolish faithfulness. He knew they had invited God's judgment. When God announced his intentions to the, to the man of God, Amos cried out for mercy on behalf of his wayward people. This happened twice, and both times God relented. Most likely each time this occurred, Amos told the people of the imminent disaster God intended for them. In a foxhole moment, they likely cried out with Amos for relief. They cried out with Amos for relief. Spare us today, Lord. They might have exclaimed, and we'll serve you tomorrow. But once God relented from bringing judgment, they merely turned back to their shameful, sinful, their same sinful lifestyles. Finally, God firmly declares to Amos that he can no longer tolerate the people's faithfulness. He doesn't want to destroy them, but to straighten out their crooked lives, like a doctor inflicting additional breaks to a damaged arm or leg to ensure that it heals properly. God allows them to be broken so that he can reform and straighten them. And he does the same with us. When we face trying times, we might call friends and ask them to pray for us. While these prayers are effective, we don't need intercession without repentance. If we have unconfessed sin in our life, we must deal with it so that complete healing can occur. True repentance requires ongoing and consistent commitment. Foxhole faith eventually fails. Amen. Things to take away from the commentary. Are you a foxhole believer? Does your life back up your answer? At what times during your life have you felt broken? How did God use you? How did God use these times to help you shape you to the person you are today? If you're facing a trying situation right now, what sins in your life might prevent complete healing from taking place? All right. That's the commentary, people. All right. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He is the most high God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel. He's the God of the Hebrews. He is the God of Jeshurun. Praise him always forever. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Praise the Most High. His only begotten Son died for our sins, rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah for shedding his blood for all of us. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, the Advocate. Hallelujah. Praise him, the Almighty, true living God. Praise him, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The Apostle of our profession, the Arm of the Lord, the Atonement Sacrifice for our sins, the Author and Finisher of our faith, the Author and Perfecter of our faith, the Author of life, the Author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the Beloved Son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the blessed and only sovereign, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God is with us, eternal life, everlasting father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, Firstborn of all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the hair of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope 
the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, that I am, that I am, that I am, that I am who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna, the highest praise. Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. King of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader, commander, the life, the lie of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is holiness, the Lord is my banner, the Lord is my portion, the Lord is my strength, my rock, my refuge, my good fortress, my high tower, my shield, my buckler, my strength, my song, my salvation, my redeemer, my provider, our helper, our defense, our shelter, praise him, Yah. Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Ahai, Yeshai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ahai, Yeshai, Adonai, Abba. He is the consuming fire. He is the father of heavenly lights. He is the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son is at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He's the great physician can heal all things. He's the carpenter can fix all things with God. All things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days and rest on the seventh day. He could fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him. He'll show you great mighty things. Search and seek him with all your heart and you will find him. He is a reward to those who seek him diligently. Know that he exists. Believe in him. Trust him. Know he could do for you. Abide in him. Abide in his word. Ask the Father what you need in his son's name and it shall be given to you. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracle signs, wonders, help. Just ask people. Pray to the Father what you need. Most definitely. He is with us forever, people. The outstretched arm of God will be in our lives forever. The mighty hand of God will be in our lives forever. The finger of God will be on our lives forever. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. God is one. Our faith has made us well. Our faith has blessed, uh, blessed us. Our faith has saved us. Faith is how we overcome the world. Amen. The Heavenly Father is with us forever. Amen. Most definitely. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven. Perfect time in due time in God. Praise him. Man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God, our savior, our holiness, our husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice, the Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the resurrection, the resurrector, the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. He is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him. The wisdom of God. The witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word made flesh, the living word for sure. Most definitely, we know that his word is pure, fine, silver, just as David said in the Psalms. We know that every word of God is true, pure, and flaws, as the book of Proverbs says. And we know that his word is a double edged sword, as the book of Hebrew says. Yes, he is the high priest of the order of Melchizedek. He is the sinless high priest. He is the everlasting king. Most definitely, he's the high priest king uh, of the order of Melchizedek. Praise him always, forever, y'all. He's the way everlasting, most definitely. Let us repent and get baptized. Let us forgive others so that the Heavenly Father can forgive us. Let us be blameless before the Lord our God. Let us circumcise our hearts. Let us be more helpful and loving towards one another. And let us keep moving forward with our lives. Amen. Trust in God through everything you're going through, people. Prayers up to all the poor people. Prayers up to all the widows. Prayers up to all the orphans, the fatherless, the the cheap, all types of people, all walks of life. The tribe of Levi, the strangers, the joiners, the pilgrims, the refugees. Prayers up for all peoples, all walks of life. The babies, the children, young boys, young girls, your teenagers, young men, young women, middle aged people, senior citizens, elders. Prayers up for everyone. Hallelujah! Most definitely, all walks of life. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debt doors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the honor and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his counsels upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel and I will bless them. Shalom.
Amen. Selah, Barakatha. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I love you all. Praying for you all. Peace.